Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have my tree mold that I made, the log mold, um, that I have put a silicone uh, stopper in the middle of. And we are going to make a redwood. So in here, I have three ounces of my one-to-one -one resin and I have added about eight drops of red ha, 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 um, alcohol ink and three drops of reddish brown. So that's why I'm calling it a redwood is because it's going to be red. So essentially what I'm going to do is just pour it in and we're going to make a tea light holder. How exciting is that? I'm excited. I don't know about you guys. Now, the one thing that I do want when making this is I want both ends to be open. And I want it very squat. I don't want it big tall. Um, so that's why I'm only putting three ounces in is because I want it open. So I can do whatever I want with it. I can put tall candles, short candles, Ever my little heart desires. And you can kind of see what color we got out of it. So it's this really nice reddish brown color that I'm very much looking forward to seeing how it turns out. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a tap. Because this mold does have a lot of crevices because I made it out of a log, an, a, an actual log. So, that being said, I am going to let this cure. It's just a quick little project this time. Nothing, nothing big, huge, nothing fancy, no you know, weirdness involved. So, I will see you guys for the demo. See you then. Alright, so I've decided to pivot. You guys know me and my absolute inability to leave anything alone. So, I have six ounces of my resin here and my bright green alcohol ink. the green. Now, you'll notice this tree has lots of little tiny compartments, little tree leaves. So what I'm going to do is go in and spray it with alcohol to try to keep some of those bubbles out of there. I don't know how successful I'm going to be, but I'm taking my finger and just running it along on the inside, tip it to the side. How cool is that? Alright, so we're going to let that little dude sit there for a second. And I'm going to grab tree mold number two. So this is going to be a short tree. Or as we people of Untallness, like to say, vertically challenged. Alright, so there we have that. We 
again. Go in, squish, squish, squish. Please get out the bubbles. It's kind of cool though, doesn't it? Watching them come up to the resin. That's pretty cool though, actually. I'm enjoying that. <laughs> That's probably a really silly thing, but you know, hey. It's the little things in life, people. Enjoy them. Appreciate them. Um, yeah, so we're making some trees. Making some trees to go with our redwood. I'm going to spray these. Try to get the rest of those bubbles out. And I will see you guys for next steps. See you soon. All right. Let's make a tree, shall we? Now, let's start with our base. And I am going to spray in some alcohol just to make it easier to get the center bit out. Wiggle that around a little bit. There we go. Ta da! spill around the bottom, but that's not a problem. I can just look at that. And then I can go around it with my um, you know, the deep burn tool or a pair of scissors or a craft knife okay. uh, to get that off. So I'll do that. And then I do have some trimming to do around the top as well. Not a problem. Mine. All right, so now trees. Trees, trees, trees. trees. Very easy to do all. Alright, so time to clean up. Just a standard everyday craft knife if you have a deburring tool that you would rather use or Sandpaper, it's up to you. Just very carefully going around, trying to avoid slicing my finger off. Our log. And what I'm going to do is bring the guys down a little bit in the angle here so you can see what I'm doing better. LED tea light. These are made from resin. Do not use regular candles, please. Um, resin will get very hot, it will start to melt, and it could possibly burn. So if you're going to use 
resin to make tea light holders, please use LED candles. And look at that beautiful glow. Isn't that lovely? Wow, I like that a lot. And then, install our tree topper. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let me turn off the big light. tea light. So you can take it on or off. You can switch it out if you want to make trees of different colors. But yeah. There we go. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it and I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care guys. Cheers.